morning. Come travel with me to the city of lovers. I am sure you have seen many different videos about famous places in Paris, but in this video I want to share with you some unusual fun things to do. I'm super happy to take you with me to the Museum of Illusion. So today I'm going to the private cabaret show and I'm taking you with me. Of course, this city is amazing for lovers, but for solo travelers as well. So today I'm sharing with you 22 amazing things to do in Paris. But before we start, a little bit about myself. My name is Stella and I come from Estonia, one of the Baltic states. And here you can see our airport, which is considered to be one of the most comfortable ones in the world. We have here library, comfortable seating places, places to charge your phone, to shop and to play the board games if you feel bored and wait for your plane to arrive. So my tip number one is actually before you go to the plane or before the takeoff you decide what you want to leave behind. Are those some thoughts or habits or whatever you don't want to take with you to your new destination. Just decide to let them go. take a taxi or go by train to the center of the Paris. This time I decided to take a taxi so it could be also a little bit sightseeing before arriving and this time I'm staying in a small apartment near Opera so it's easy to walk around to see the city, you don't need to take the metro all the time. It's a really nice, beautiful little place and I just love this atmosphere of Paris vibes. So the next day after arriving, I already know that I want to take this time really easy because after the flight usually body needs more rest and more stretching, good food, so I will be more happy if I don't need to pressure myself to go anywhere. So for this day, after arrival, I have something really really nice in plan, which I show you in some seconds. I'm going to do something really not stressing. I don't do my makeup, I just put my clothes on and then I suggest this thing to do to everybody after arrival to any place. First thing you go to do is... Yes, it is spa and massage. So my tip number two is to start your journey with a nice relaxation so the rest of the time you feel so much more energized after you have relaxed and really taken some time off. Number three is to have a nice little walk somewhere you really like. So before dinner I went for a walk 
which is one of my favorite places to walk in the center of the Paris. So as you can see, here is Louvre. You can get here by metro, by taxi. And you can see it's really magical. All those lights and sometimes there is some music going on. So my tip number four is really pay attention to the details. There are so many things to observe. So it's better just to take some more time, not just run by, but really enjoy these moments. I love this place during the sunset so much. So the tip number five is really follow your heart. Don't plan everything for every day but rather allow yourself just to flow with the flow. I had so many beautiful experiences here in Paris because for some days I didn't plan anything and I just followed my intuition and I was just feeling where would I would like to go and I found so many beautiful places which I'm gonna show you later on in this video as well. Here in this video you see one of my favorite places. It is a small courtyard of Louvre. Usually here is the fountain, but it wasn't working right now. So when we are going through this, we are arriving by the river, which is also such a magical place to go, especially in the evenings. I love it so much. This is a story time now. I have lived in Paris before. It was about 22 years ago. And I was a babysitter here. Also learning some French. So no, I decided on. that when I'm ready to come back here, I will come. And I decided to be very wildly happy. So. This is me fulfilling my dream. There seems to be so beautiful, the sun is shining, can't wait. <laughs> Exciting things happening today for sure. I like to do Reiki, meditation, yoga, breathing techniques. Mon 
So the tip number nine is to visit an old metro station made to be a park now, full of bird song, such an amazing oasis in the middle of the city. It's so incredible here, I love it. Especially when it's a very warm day to come here, it's really nice and cool. And the birds are singing through nature around. This is paradise. Number 10 is to discover different parks. They are really different and unique. I will show you several of them and then you can decide which one is your favorite one here. Here's just a regular, usual small park full of roses and fig tree. Such a beautiful place to read a book or just have a nice time, have a lunch or you know, just enjoy the life. So all the parks I'm showing you right now are just walking distance from each other. Here you can see me testing my new gimbal. Thank you for your patience with me. <laughs> Here's a private park. So beautiful. And the next park you can see is just like 100 meters away. It's a public park where people love to have their free time, have their time off. Also full of flowers, nice little spots to walk around. Here you can see some really beautiful flowers on the street. And this is a next park I found another day. There you can go and play petanque if you like. This is a game many French people play. Me, of course, I love all this nature. Can't help it. I, I just love the smell of the roses in the spring. It is such a bliss after the long winter. found this garden to be really remarkable, really different parts of this park were so different, so amazing to discover and after you have visited the park it's a good idea to visit the Bercy, Bercy village for lunch and shopping. There are different shops and different restaurants to choose from and it's a really nice place to go with the metro number 14 which is amazing. I'm gonna take you with the ride with me and I'm gonna show you why it is so unique.
Des yeux qui font baisser les miens Un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche Voilà le portrait sans retouche De l'homme auquel j'appartiens Quand il me prend dans ses bras I think I had one of the most beautiful moments of my trip here in this room listening to this song When I was living here in Paris for so many years ago I remember I had a dream that one day I want to have such a life that I can afford myself to live in one of us beautiful hotel rooms so I'm super happy to share all this with you today maybe this can be an inspiration for somebody also to dream big and to act not just sit and wait but really listen to your heart what does your heart tell you what kind of life you're meant to live so first we need to dream and then we need to really do the things to make all this happen so here's a really nice big bathroom which is such a treasure in Paris where usually everything is so tiny so small but this room is really remarkable I can say all those beautiful pictures and the tapestry and the curtains so the tip number 16 is to do something new every day since that time I started to do that my life changed completely so amazing things started to happen so right now I'm on my way to the market in Paris there are several markets open on the first days and on Sundays and you can access it by metro or by taxi as ever you want and on these markets you can find some beautiful vegetables, fruits, Indian clothes even so really different stuff so you can access it easily by metro as well and as you can see I'm here quite late on the market we started to close it up already but it's full of fresh local good things including fromage, cheese in French and also local strawberries which were biological so very clear and pure and so tasty so guys I'm super happy to take you with me to the Museum of Illusion. I'm very lucky, thank you museum. They gave me permission to film this and share this. So this museum is very close by to the metro station Les All and it's a very nice place to have lunch, go to a shop and then to visit the Illusion Museum as well. I highly suggest you to do a reservation before going so you don't need to wait in line as you can see there are really amazing illusion works I have seen them before 
in internet some of them but seeing them in real life was a truly remarkable and amazing experience. For example, look at this picture. Can you spot the dark dot here? Or look at this. This is one of my favorite spots in the museum. It is such a pleasure and craziness to watch hundreds of yourselves <laughs> mirroring back to you. I had so much fun. I'm sure with kids it's it's amazing experience but even as a grown-up I truly enjoy such experiences myself too. There was one illusion I couldn't go on to but it was really really challenging and fun for the ones who did. So I don't show you all the things that were in this illusion museum so you can discover a lot by yourself as well. seconds I'm gonna show you one illusion and I please ask you to write down in the comments what do you see on this illusion what I show you next do you see faces or vases please write down in the comment box So I just arrived back to the hotel and I just wanted to show you how amazing it's a cupboard with the light inside. This is something that every woman should have. And then I'm going to show you a little bit what I bought from shopping. I actually didn't plan to go shopping at all, but as I was going to the Museum of Illusion, I just stepped inside one shop and I found so beautiful things. So today I'm going to the private cabaret show, super excited, I don't know what to expect but I hope it will be fun and I'm taking you with me. This is a place where locals love to be. We're going to go on this journey. that one day the girl hears the song in the street and reminds herself of him.
La lune trop blême pose un diadème sur tes cheveux rouges. La lune trop rousse de gloire et de C'est le grand marché d'amour de Lord Market. C'est le coin où des ambulances se keep on. Many followers come to see her play, sing in all the cabarets. And a very famous follower of hers was this important man who was coming from Vienna to see her. Mr. Yeah, Sigmund Freud, you know Elizabeth. Certes, en regardant sa figure, rien ne vous donnait de l'émoi. So I say it to you, like the French people do, because it's all so good. C'est inouï ce qu'il a pour séduire. Sans parler de ce que je ne peux pas dire. I could stay like this forever following you. So when I'm looking back at this journey, I feel like it was one of my most happy trips ever and I plan to continue traveling around so you're very welcome to join my channel by clicking like and subscribe. And here comes my tip number 22, the last one in this video. It is about taking photos. We all know it is good to take selfies and photos together with the new friends and to share all this fun with others. But another thing to do is to have a really professional photo shoot and here you can see I had a photo shoot with an amazing photographer Panos who you can find on Airbnb. I highly suggest I put his uh, contacts down below in the video description box you can find him in Paris. So I'm thanking you everyone for showing you some pictures we took on this photo shoot. I'm super happy to share all this beautiful journey with you all guys and I hope your dreams will be fulfilled as well. Sending you many many blessings, stay safe and I maybe see you somewhere around the world, who knows. Thank you for writing down in the comment box where did you guys watch this video from. It would be so good to know. Many, many blessings. Goodbye.